The Proposal Plan Once upon a time, in the 19th century to be precise, a young woman was enjoying the warmth and beauty of a lovely summer day. Can you guess who she was? It was Anne. Remember the young clever girl from Green Gables? Well, she was all grown up now, enjoying a short vacation from college. The Adora! The air smells so fresh and sweet with all the flowers in bloom. Oof, but it's really hot. This is Theodora. She was a good friend of Anne, a nice lady who was gentle at heart, but not afraid to speak her mind. Anne, who was visiting her, saw a long and stooping shadow of a person coming up the lane. Oh, Theodora, I can see Ludovic coming up the lane. It may be another year before he reaches the door. The man's name was Ludovic Speed, but dear me, he wasn't speedy at all. It was like watching someone move in slow motion. The whole town knew he had been courting or dating Theodora for... 15 years! We've been seeing each other for that long, and he still hasn't asked me to marry him. Couldn't you ask him? <laughs> no, Anne. I couldn't. The man has to ask the woman. Well, that's rough. Indeed, the societal rules in the 19th century were rough. Ludovic finally reached the door but didn't knock. If Theodora hadn't opened the door, he would have stayed out the whole time. Ludovic entered the house and sat in a big armchair. He always sat there. Hello there, Anne. Hello. The three of them spoke about anything and everything. Ludovic was intelligent and could speak well, and Theodora was equally well-versed and knowledgeable. But after a while, Anne bade them goodbye. Fifteen years? I can't imagine waiting that long for the love of my life to propose to me. Theodora really loves Ludovic, and he seems fond of her, too. Hmm. The next day, Anne turned up at Theodora's house, and the two of them began to chat. Theodora, if Ludovic is too slow in proposing to you, why not hurry him up? <laughs> hurry up, Ludovic? Impossible. Nothing's impossible. Anne, the speeds never hurry. It runs in their family. What do you mean? Theodora told Anne about an uncle of Ludovic who had thought of visiting his brother. But he never visited him. Why not? Because he kept thinking about it. And do you know? Ludovic has been wanting to paint his house for over ten years. But he still hasn't. What? That's impossible! Oh, Anne, the speeds are just too slow. They're masters of procrastination. I love Ludovic, but I feel he thinks we have all the time in the world. But I'm already 37. I think there's a way, my way, and here's what we'll do. As Anne relayed her plan, Theodora's eyes twinkled. I doubt this will work, though. No harm in trying. Theodora agreed, and so Anne went to meet the second player in her plan, Mr. Arnold, a man who was handsome, single, and ready for any mischief. Mr. Arnold! Anne, come in. Is there something you need? I want you to help me with a little plan. A plan? Anne told him, and his eyes, too, lit up. He agreed immediately. I'm up for any challenge that would make Ludovic move faster than a worm. <laughs> now, during the time Ludovic courted Theodora, no one really thought the two would ever find another to love. Ludovic was confident of this. Ah, now I'll wait here until Theodore comes my way, and I shall accompany her home, as I've always done. But there was a change in plan as Anne's plan commenced. Ahem, Miss Theodora, allow me to accompany you home. Oh, um, hmm, of course. Theodore linked her arm into Mr. Arnold's, and the two of them swept past an extremely shocked Ludovic. His Theodora had been whisked away by another man. Is that Theodora with Mr. Arnold? 
Isn't she supposed to be with Ludovic? Maybe Ludovic lost his speedy race to her heart. <laughs> Ludovic mournfully followed them, sometimes strutting forward, but mostly not. And so I said... <laughs> As they parted ways, Ludovic stood and watched them go. Huh. She's laughing at his jokes. Does she find his jokes funnier than mine? Oh. Uh... The next day, Ludovic visited Theodora, and to his dismay, Mr. Arnold was there too, sitting in Ludovic's usual spot. Good morning, Ludovic. Is it? I hadn't noticed. Oh, I notice everything beautiful. The day, the flowers, even my host is beautiful. Ludovic fumed at this, but said nothing. He sat quietly, listening as the other two chatted and laughed, and he felt very out of place. Why is this man here talking to the woman I love? Why does she look extra pretty today? Is she wearing her best dress for him? Poor Ludovic had a very terrible time. When Anne visited that evening, Theodora spilled all the tea in relief, for although she had laughed and chatted, she wasn't exactly happy. I felt so bad hurting him. I wanted to stand up in the middle and just say, it's all pretend. No, the plan must go on. The results will come. Just wait. Oh, it already has. When he left, Ludovic almost ran out today. I've never seen him move so fast. Mr. Arnold and I actually laughed. Ooh, the results are a lot faster than I thought. Ludovic's speed is full of surprises. Good. I wonder what will happen next. Ludovic was finally coming up to Theodore's speed. He had rushed home, seen his house, and had thought of Mr. Arnold's grand one. <sighs> How dare he try to steal my lady. I won't be defeated. He had immediately begun to paint it after ten long years of waiting and thinking. When it was done, he went up to Theodora and told her, but she acted like she didn't care much. Not only that, but he now saw Mr. Arnold accompanying her everywhere. Look, Mr. Arnold is with Theodora again. Looks like Ludovic has been forgotten. The town began to talk, and although Theodora saw how miserable Ludovic was, she stayed firm. Mr. Arnold consoled her. He will soon surprise us again, but I wonder how many weeks that would take. <sighs> he does look shocked to see us. Hmm, what a goose. I wish he'd come here, knock you down, and whisk me away. That isn't a surprise I want. Now, should I accompany you today? Yes. Let's hope it jilts him a bit again. But the thing about a surprise is that no one ever knows when it's coming. So that evening, instead of standing in his usual spot, Ludovic strode right up to Theodora and claimed aloud, Theodora, allow me to accompany you home. Ludovic glared at the amused Mr. Arnold. Theodora was greatly surprised and blushed in agreement. Ludovic saw her home while everyone stared after them in awe. Was that Ludovic? Was he angry just now? I've never seen him so flustered. Has Mr. Arnold lost his battle? As the people spoke, the night ended. And the next day, when Anne went to visit Theodora... Well, Theodora, what news have you? We're engaged! Anne was shocked. Engaged? She saw the ring flashing off the gleeful lady's finger. Oh my goodness! You're engaged! I'm engaged! <laughs> oh, but how did this happen? Theodora told Anne about how wound up Ludovic had been on their way to her house. I thought he was going to pop. I decided to tease him a bit and spoke about Mr. Arnold, but I'd hardly said anything when he... Thea... Uh, Theodora! Yeah, yes Marry me. I... I mean, will, will you marry me? Yes, 
Yes! Yes! And that's how it happened. And Ludovic has decided to have the wedding immediately. Not that I'm complaining. Seems like he can't be hurried up. Oh, how happy I am for you, Theodora. Theodora and Ludovic's wedding took place as immediately as it was said. It was such a success. Everyone in town was most surprised and happy for the couple. Fifteen years and they're finally married. Your plan was simply marvelous. I know, you were a perfect actor too. Maybe I should be a matchmaker. Oh, Gilbert, hi! Hi, Anne. Or maybe Anne will be too busy finding her own match. Hmm, did you say something? Nothing at all. <laughs> <laughs> and so, the story ends, and maybe with a little lesson, too. That time is, and will always be, extremely precious. When we are given opportunities or chances, we must take them, or else the things and people we love may just be taken away from us.